Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and a brand new video. We are in Sardinia and this is our official first day here in Sardinia. We are in Santa Teresa de Calura, which is up north in the island and we just arrived last night guys and this is our first official day. I'm so happy. It's a bit windy as you guys can see but the weather is glorious. I think it's 35 degrees and it's now half past nine only. Um, I just filmed the outfit of the day. I'm wearing this beautiful shirt by Dream Sister Jane and my Asian Provocateur uh, swimsuit. Glasses are just Cavalli and uh, this is the view guys. So we have this gorgeous pool uh, which as you guys can see is an infinity pool. So there's the sea. The sea is absolutely glorious and I just can't wait to show you everything and enjoy this beautiful weather and this beautiful location. I'm not wearing any makeup, just SPF and a little bit of your lip glow oil. We just had breakfast. I didn't film too much at breakfast because there was too many people, but um, I will show you everything later on. I will show you the breakfast. I will show you the, the room, which is gorgeous as well. And um, I think now we are going to enjoy the, the pool and I'll check in later. skirt. This one is quite old but I love it. The swimsuit is by Ashant Provocateur, my old uh, Sister Jane uh, blouse with embroideries. The shoes are the Chloe Woody sandals and I have the Marc Jacobs tote. Sunglasses are just Cavalli and uh, this is the look. By the way, look at the view behind me. How gorgeous. Hi guys, we just came back to the room. It's now half past seven. I just got ready, as you can see. Uh, we are currently in our bedroom. Uh, we are staying in a beautiful five-star hotel here in Sardinia, in Italy. And I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm so excited to be here, guys. We are in this area called Santa Teresa di Galura. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly, but it's up north in the island and it's so, so stunning. Oh my God, guys, the sea, is just unbelievably blue. Um, it's called the Emerald Coast for a reason. It's so beautiful. Anyway, I'm gonna show you the room really quickly. Um, the ladies came in, so it's the bed is made, but we already made a mess of it, as you can imagine. But I'm gonna turn you around and show you the room. Okay, everyone, when you come in, you have this view. So window over there with the beautiful curtains, bed, this stunning wardrobe where I put all of my clothes inside. I'm going to show you quickly. It's not massive, guys, but I mean, we managed halfway through. So this is my area. This is Jerome's area. And I have some shoes there, bags and more bags. And uh, over here I have some more clothes. 
um, like I said it's not super big but it's it's enough and uh, yeah guys this is the stunning bed and I just love the details on everything sorry about the mess um, they left us towels for the pool they are uh, new towels every single day we have a balcony I'm gonna show you TV over here we have a balcony but we don't have sea view we have garden view but it's really cute balcony with a chair as you guys can see and I'm gonna turn you around and this is the room guys we also have this area here so the TV and we also have this beautiful mirror and the makeup table which is also a coffee station and guys they left us a full bottle of Prosecco uh, because today is Ron's birthday. I can't believe it. It's so nice of them. And uh, also these sweets. I think they are like typical uh, Sardinian sweets. And how nice is this? I mean, lovely. Also, they left us this. I don't know what this is, but um, probably a sweet of some sort. Um, and the water, which Ron already had. And then we have this sort of like um, couch situation where I have my... Um, these are my um, bags, the tote, this one is like the, the tote I took on the flight and this one is the beach tote that I'm wearing currently, sorry it's a bit a bit messy otherwise I would I would show you what we have in there, so the luggage is there and over here we have the bathroom and it's just a simple bathroom, you can see a man has been here because of that, I'm not gonna comment, lots of products as you guys can see I just been doing my makeup. This is the look of the evening. So I'm wearing this super cute yellow dress from Adriana Papel. And I just found out, guys, that I don't have any lip liners. So I'm not gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my pink nude lip. But I mean, I can live without a, a lip liner. But yeah, guys, this is the room. Then I'm gonna show you my outfit now. Hopefully, I can find a spot where I can put you and show you what I'm wearing tonight. Okay everyone, so this is the look of the evening. I'm wearing this beautiful Adriana Papel uh, yellow dress. My earrings are true diamonds. They are new, I love them. Uh, the watch is just Cavalli and rings. I have my new uh, true diamonds pink um, ring. This pinky here is by Anushka that I got at Bistro Village. Then I have this one here that it's also from True Diamonds. I don't know if the camera is focusing. Hopefully it is. Otherwise you guys can't see anything. <laughs> and then my wedding ring and wedding band. And uh, this is the look. I'm going to show you the shoes because I don't think you can see from there. So I'm wearing these really cute shoes from... Uh, what's the name of this brand, guys? Emmanuel V. Um, so cute. And I picked these shoes up because they match the bag I want to uh, take tonight so I'm wearing my old Dolce Gabbana lace bag this bag is so cute and uh, this will be the look I don't know if you guys can see me um, <laughs> but yeah this is the look of the evening second look and I'm also wearing these sunnies I think they are cute um, I don't know before when I was getting ready, I thought maybe it's too much, the pink and the yellow, but I'm in Sardinia, so where else would I wear this? And now that I'm looking at the sunnies, I'm not sure about sunnies either, but these are the sunnies I wore today, guys, so yeah. Uh, we'll see. We'll see when Joe comes back. He's went out for a second to the hotel lobby, so um, he will let me know what he thinks, but I'm just gonna place you guys back and have a little word with you uh, so about last night uh, we flew to Obia airport uh, from Bristol um, around so the flight was delayed and it took off at six o'clock it was uh, scheduled for 420 guys and the flight was really lovely two hours and ten minutes really quick and we got to Obia it was really warm guys it was 35 degrees which is lovely we got there and we had pre-booked a taxi to take us to the hotel because our hotel is one hour and 20 away from the airport and guys there was nobody waiting for us 
There was no email, there was no text message, nothing guys. So João called this number that we had on the booking, um, like in case of an emergency number, and guess what? They cancelled the booking, our booking, because of the delay of the flight. And we were like, well, all the flights are delayed in the summer, aren't they? I mean, it's a miracle that they don't get delayed. So, guys, it was really annoying. So we waited around uh, trying to sort this out and they wouldn't. They said, oh, we cancelled it, that's it, we will refund you the money. And that's it. So we were a bit stressed out and we decided, okay, let's take a taxi. Uh, we went outside to grab a taxi and there was like a massive queue of people, uh, probably with the same problem as us, uh, probably all on the same flight as us. And nobody was getting taxis because all of the taxis that were getting there were only taking people to OBS city center. And obviously the hotels where people wanted to go were a bit further away. But because it was already 10 in the evening, almost 11, um, none of the taxi drivers wanted to go further inland. And guys, our hotel was the furthest away ever, one hour and 20 minutes, and into the mountain. And the road is really difficult. So guys, we waited an hour for the taxi in the queue because some of the taxi drivers said no to us. So we were a bit stressed out and we even thought, okay, let's rent a car and just drive ourselves. But none of us had our driving license, which is a big mistake and it's not gonna happen again. And uh, yeah, it was sort of an adventure and eventually we found this taxi driver, a really nice guy who, um, ask us for a lot of money to take us here to the hotel and we said yes because guys um, it was really late we got to the hotel around just before midnight imagine uh, just before midnight and it was really lovely because the hotel is a five-star hotel really beautiful and we checked in and the poor uh, guy that was in the check-in area was so tired and he said uh, guys, give me your passports, I'll check you in, and meanwhile you're gonna have dinner. And we looked at each other, well, I'm sure the, the restaurant is closed by now. And he said, well, we prepared something for you guys, because we knew you guys were really delayed, the flight was delayed. And we were like, what? It was really nice, so they took us down to the restaurant that was closed. They opened the restaurant for us, only us. They set us down in a table that was already pre -pre prepared with bread, with water, etc. And then they brought us um, these sort of dishes that they have here in Italy, like cold meats, like uh, prosciutto, hams, chorizo, things like that, and a little bit of mozzarella cheese. There was also some other types of cheeses. Uh, there was a tomato, like sort of a salad situation going on with rucola. Guys, it was delicious. It was sort of like, you know, when you go to a restaurant and you ask that uh, starter, which is lots of different types of meats and the cheeses and all of the sorts, it was like that. But it was uh, two plates, one for me, one for João, full of food and a little basket of bread, water, and he also asked if we wanted drinks. It was really lovely. So we had dinner at midnight and um, th meanwhile the guy just checked us in. We came back to the lobby area and he had done everything. Uh, we literally took us to the bedroom where we are now and um, we went to bed. It was like that. It was just like crazy. It was a really nice service from the hotel and I, I can't believe it. It was really, really nice. And then uh, we went to, to sleep, guys, because we were so tired. It was, by the time I fell asleep, I, I think I, it was like around 1 p.m., 1 a.m. And uh, we slept until quite early this morning. I don't know why. I think Shimon forgot to close the curtains last night. And um, we woke up around half past seven. So we were one of the first people to go down to breakfast this morning. And I filmed a little bit, not too much, because I didn't really want to... 
uh, invade other people's privacy but I'll try and film more tomorrow if I can uh, the breakfast was really good really good coffee obviously we are in Italy uh, they also had lots of different cakes pastries which were delicious I had a little pastry I had scrambled eggs and I had a little bit of bacon and um, I had a pomegranate uh, juice and coffee and it was really good after that we went and checked out the hotel and guys the the swimming pools are amazing it's like sort of like um three swimming pools together uh, you you will see in the in the clips that i filmed earlier you will see it i think i i might do the clips before this and you you guys probably have seen it by now and um, the sea is a green color that is absolutely beautiful i've never seen a sea like that and uh, I was so impressed. It's so beautiful, guys. Sardinia, for me, where we are, is a dream. I mean, it's really, really gorgeous. I caught a little bit of sun. I don't know if you guys can see. I already caught a little bit of sun. I'm feeling really great and relaxed. And we had a beautiful day at the, at the, at the pool today. We didn't go to the beach. Um, there was loads of people in the beach, in the sea. But we really wanted to chill by the pool today and then maybe do a sea day, a beach day tomorrow and then spend the whole day by the beach. But yeah, guys, that was it today. We just swam. We, um, we swam. We had uh, a little bit of a nap. Uh, we took pictures. It was really, really beautiful. And uh, we had lunch here in the hotel. They had this like restaurant with a buffet going on. And um, we had, uh, I think it was hummus with octopus for starters. And I also had a little bit of pizza. And then for main, I had, and Joe had the same. We had tortellini. I think it was tortellini with ricotta, which was really delicious. And uh, I think Joe is, is uh, yeah, there he is. He's ready for uh, for the restaurant now. Was we have, one. what? And I want. It was cannelloni, not tortellini. We had we had at at uh, the lunch. Jean is always like correcting me because I've lived in Italy and I still don't know the difference between my pastas. But anyway, uh, that was the lunch. Now we have a reservation in a beach club here next to the hotel called. Do you remember the name of the beach club? Martini Beach Club, Martini Beach club and. Um, we booked at lunchtime, so hopefully it'll be nice. It's Ron's birthday, so we're gonna have a nice dinner out, and that's it. Tomorrow it's gonna be probably a beach day and pool day, and I'll report back, guys.
outfit of the day. So I'm wearing, today's day two, I'm wearing this uh, shirt that I got at TK Maxx. I don't remember the brand, but it's so cute. Um, underneath, I have my new guess swimsuit. I'll show you a little bit. It's really cute with butterflies. Uh, the shorts are by ASOS. And the shoes are Moschino. I'm just going to close this up. Moschino shoes. My uh, Mark Jacobs photo bag and the sunglasses are just Cavalli. This is the look of the day. Okay, everyone, so this is the outfit of the evening. I'm wearing the All Saints oyster dress that I have for, I think, two years now. Two, three years. It's so cute. And it's just with a little strap. Super, super cute for summer. And then I picked up this Coelia lace dress to wear on top because it looks... I mean, it's quite similar vibe, so I really like it. The bag is my Tory Burch uh, new bag wicker. So cute. And the shoes are vintage Manolo Blahnik silk leopard print uh, style, which I love. Some of my favorite shoes in my collection. And the watch is just Cavalli. Sunny's just Cavalli. And I'm wearing my gold hoops by uh, Louis Vuitton. And also the true diamonds ring, guys. And this is the look of the evening. Let me know what you think.